Hi everyone, it's Catherine here from Chaos Creates. Thanks for joining me on my channel today. I'm going to be sharing with you a layout for Confessions of a Paper Addict. And I thought seeing as tomorrow is Easter Sunday, I would share with you an Easter layout. So I am using the Bunny 2 cut file. It's this cute little cut file with the bunny as the U. And so I'm documenting this photo from last Easter. This is Sebastian's Easter egg haul and so I am going ahead and getting that scrapped before the next round of bunnies come into the house. So I have pulled out uh, this is a papers from Kidaholics Kits. Now, I will list below what products I'm using but it's sort of a mix of all different things. Um, as you can see here, this is some of the papers that came in the collection. Um, there's a mixture of things here. I will leave it uh, linked below. But I'm going to go ahead and sort of back my photo on some of this pattern paper. And I want to say that this is from Obed Marshall, some of the papers here. But um, like I said, I will link, link it below. I'm going to go ahead and just sort of gut this paper because I think this would make a good um, border piece. And I don't want to waste it all by cutting into the edge. So. Uh, I've just skipped forward a little bit and I have mounted my photo now on that inner piece that I've cut out and so I'm going to go ahead and mount that and then rough up the edges and I will pull pull in another piece of that pattern paper because I wanted to mix up the colours a little bit and add a little bit more pops of colour because you'll see in a moment the embellishments I'm going to be using. So that's the paper there and again I've gone ahead and gutted it and I'm just going to use that to mount my photo again and there goes my tape on my <laughs> ATG that was finished so it was kind of good timing again cutting around the edges with my giant scissors and I'm just going to rough up the edges there and I like how that adds some good pops of color um, for when I use some more color in this um, with my embellishments so with this as you can see skip ahead and I've picked out a whole bunch of embellishments and I'm going to go ahead and stick this um, sort of cut file flat to the paper and then I'm going to pop up all the other elements within it. I really love this purple. I, I don't know about you, but for me, when I see um, Easter layouts, I really like I, I just am drawn to a purple color to help document them. So I do have a little bit of struggle, struggle here. So you'll see me just kind of shift the cut file around a little bit and I can't seem to get it sort of centered in the page. It takes me a little bit and I do get a bit of glue everywhere. I think a better way to do this might be just to lay it flat and just add some dobs of glue um, while it's laid there as opposed to trying to lay the whole thing flat again. Um, so there's a little tip for you. Maybe try and um, yeah, just you know, lay it flat and then add some dobs of glue around as opposed to putting glue on the whole entire back and then trying to lay it out. So I'm just using that sort of B to add the centerpieces there. Now I'm going to go ahead and, as I said, mat, uh, oh sorry, bump up all of these letters and that bunny with some um, foam squares, some foam adhesive squares there. And so there you go. That adds a little bit of dimension. I really love how that's looking. I'm just cleaning up after myself and I'm going to go ahead and put my photo at the top. I thought that worked best. Again, I'm putting that flat to the page. It has got a little bit of dimension because I've added those pattern paper borders to the background. And I'm pulling out this sort of sticker sheet. I think this is from or uh, garden party, either garden party or, oh, I'm not sure which collection. Again, I'll leave it linked below. Um, I haven't got a list of these these items um, written down yet, but I will get them for you. So, and while I'm doing that, so I'm going to fussy cut those, stick them on some white paper and fussy cut them. I don't make you watch all of that either, but there you go. I've gone ahead and, and um, yeah, cut all of those out. Then I'm going to use now, these are these tiny little puffy um, letter stickers from Pink Fresh Studio. I think that's from the Let's Stay Home collection. I've got two packets of them, so I can mix and match a little bit with the colours. But I'm trying to get one of the packets used up. So the title of this layout is going to be Easter Bunny Haul. And so I'm just going to stick those down and I'll straighten them up in a moment. But while I'm doing all of that, I will let you know I've left links below to the Confessions of a Paper Addict Facebook group where you can find out all, all that's going on in the world of cut files for confessions of a paper addict there is some great 
um, shares on on the on the Facebook group. Lots of people sharing um, beautiful layouts. So go ahead and check it out. You'll also get an understanding of the challenge. The challenges have come back. The monthly challenges for confessions of a paper addict. So they will be. Uh, linked below and I will also have the link to this specific cut file and as you can see I'm going ahead and embellishing so I'm pulling out a few things here I have picked out that cute little bow and I know it's the back of the bunny but I couldn't help it and now I'm going to use a little pom-pom so I'm going to use the white one here because I felt like that stood out more as the tail for the bunny um, and then I've put down those uh, two bunnies either side of the title that I fussy cut and then that cute little bunny head and I'm just there was a little carrot there and I'm just picking out a few things that I think will make work so I've just put that chipboard piece that says choose happy below the title there and I'm just seeing what else I can make work I have put a little chipboard piece as well on my photo that says hey bunny because there was quite a lot of empty space there and as you could see I was tapping my fingers because I wasn't sure what else I wanted to add something else here but I really couldn't work out what it was so I do go ahead and start to stick things down even though these pieces do have some sticky on the back a lot of these are chipboard pieces I did want to add some extra adhesive so I do go ahead off camera and stick everything down and then I find this piece that I had cut the bunny cut file out of and I've decided to use it as um, a border piece as well so I'm just going to go ahead and cut down my layout a little bit uh, just trim off uh, I think it's a quarter of an inch from each um, each of these and then I'm just going to go ahead and mount it on that other purple paper and I really like how that pops now I really feel like that helps and I'm using my Helma 450 glue here to stick down that bunny tail that's the best thing to stick down fabric um, I find it works really well and then I still just feel like I need more and I really like how that rainbow sits on top of the Easter it fits there perfectly then I'm going to use these hearts um, to add around my clusters so I'm going to add the three little hearts Oh, sorry, I've added two down so far, but I will add a third one up near where that um, little birdie's sitting on top of my photo, and I like how that looks. And then I'll go ahead and add some enamel dots. So just, again, sticking all those chipboard pieces down. Even though they have sticky, I think, um, you know, adding the adhesive really means they'll last. So, yeah, I'm nearly done here. I'm just trying to work out. I'm trying to add some more. These butterflies are super cute, but I just didn't think they were going to work. So I'm just grabbing some enamel dots and I'll add three to each of the clusters. So I think I used some different colors. I've got some, you know, um, pink, the purple, green, and then blue, um, that light sort of blue. And I just add those there. But that's almost all for my layout. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I hope you enjoyed me sharing. And I'd love to see some of the Easter layouts that you create this month over in the Confessions of a Paper Addict Facebook group. And as I'm putting those down, thank you very much for watching. I'm just going to add some gold splatters here in a moment and then I'm all done. So if you did enjoy this video, please give me a like and a thumbs up. And if you want to see more from me, please go ahead and subscribe. I'd love to have you as part of my YouTube community. So I'm going to finish up here. I will leave you with some close ups and like. Like I said, I've linked all the products I've used below, as well as links to the Etsy store and the Facebook group. Thanks, everyone. Bye. Mm -hmm.